I think what a lot of people want to know is that, of course, the president-elect can reverse all of this when he takes office in a very short time. Will he reverse these actions taken by President Obama? I, I won't make a statement on that at all tonight. I will tell you that even um, those who are sympathetic to President Obama on most issues are saying that part of the reason he did this today was to, quote, box in President-elect Trump. Uh, that would be very unfortunate if that were the motivate if politics were the motivating factor here but we can't help but think that that's often true um, even the new york times characterize it as such that this may be an attempt to box him in to see what he'll do as president that's not the way that peaceful transitions of administrations work in our great democracy you think and these so serious I think actions at the moment that the, the president, president elect has spoken took, his piece took, on this kelly and you think these very serious and unprecedented actions that the president that president obama took today expelling 35 diplomats giving them 72 hours to leave the country sanctioning foreign intelligence services you think that president obama did that just to box in donald trump no i was quote i was actually quoting david sanger's piece in the new york times um, where he says in one of the opening paragraphs that this is an attempt this could also be an attempt to box in president elect trump and i'm merely saying if the new york times report is true and credible that that would be an unfortunate rationale here on top of any other rationales um you're right kate it is unprecedented i don't think at the height of the cold war that this country um expelled that many <clears throat> operatives uh, so I know the president is looking tough in his last couple of weeks. Um, first, I would call them sanctions against Israel over this past weekend and now sanctions against Russia. But the fact is that um, we'll see the word symbolic is being used also by The New York Times and other such, I think, pro Obama administration outlets. So we'll see if this has teeth and we'll see if some of our allies follow suit.